All right, guys, welcome to the branch manager of Home Depot. Now we're running this huge store. If you don't know what Home Depot is, they sell a bunch of household items and a bunch of other equipment for construction, basically everything. It's the Home Depot. When you get promoted as a store manager, you have to perform a task. Ours is starting a rental company here at Home Depot. About 20% of the Home Depots globally do have a rental company. Ours does not right now, so we're going to get that set up today. It's going to be super fun. We got a gate to go around back, and this place is gigantic. So we'll probably do all the rentals around back, like the paperwork and stuff, and then we'll have them all sitting out front. And actually right here, this is one of our decks. Uh, you can get this installed in your back deck area, little patio kind of thing, so it's pretty cool. And the color scheme for Home Depot is orange, so we had to get a Duramax. Look at the thing rolls cool and everything, so we're going to be heading on over to the spot where we're going to be picking up the rental equipment. The headquarters of Home Depot supplies it all for us, and then we have to give them 70% cut of each week's uh, leasing sales. So that's a pretty good deal. We're still making 30% off each lease, and for trailers, it can range from 25 bucks an hour to trucks ranging up to the 50s. And the trucks that we got are pretty nice. They're Dodge Flatbed 2500s. They're pretty nice. Many may say they're a workhorse. Right down the road, you can already see all the orange, and we don't have to transport too much stuff. Or maybe we do. This is a lot of stuff. Dodge is there. Oh, what are those? Those mini skid steers. We got a couple of dump trailers. Let's go ahead and pull in here. All right, so yeah, these are all orange paint. This is a cool color scheme. Holy biscuits. These things are huge. Enclosed trailers. These things could probably do basically anything. Looks like we've got the logos there. Got an apron. More saving, more doing. That's right. Got a nice thank you on the back with a Home Depot employee. Then we got it, a rental on the side, and they're all the exact same. This thing is insane, guys. Well, these things might even be going for 70 or 80 an hour. They're pretty nice. And then we have some normal flatbed trailers. These are just uh, convenient for hauling skid steers or even lawnmowers. A number one seller at Home Depot, so we ordered four of them, zero turn. F3060 mowers, so these things have a 72-inch mowing deck. Oh, wait, they might even be a 90. I don't know. I don't know how big that is, but it's huge. You can get a whole lawn done in five minutes. But, yeah, we have, what are these, Vermeers? We got mini skid steers as well. Check these things out. Oh, buddy, you got raised and lowering forks. Let's fire it up there for a minute. Yeah, sounds pretty good. That thing burns fuel pretty quick, I would bet. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. We got a bunch of stuff to get back today, so that's going to be the majority. Is getting everything back and set up, which is the fun part, because setting up stuff at dealerships and different stores is always fun. And these are the flatbeds. Let's take a little closer look at these. Turbo Diesel Cummins in each of these. We got a flatbed with a gooseneck. We got a dually on these as well, so these things will probably do anything. We'll probably go for about 20 bucks an hour. And I want to make this a mini-series if you guys enjoyed this one. And to show me you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button for me. And subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And I will for sure do more for you guys. But yeah, I want to hook up the Chevy, get a couple of these back. We could probably load the mowers in the back as well. You know, the stuff we could throw on back, so it will probably be making about four or five trips, which isn't too bad. Let's go ahead back up to one of the enclosed rentals and see what that thing looks like in the back. All right, boys, here we go. Alright, let me go ahead and winch it up here. Okay, I think we're all set to go. Let's go ahead and pull this thing forward unfolded here. And yeah, this is the main distribution site. See, we can pick up some dirt, sand, and gravel for Home Depot. Looking at like 20 bucks a ton. Jeez, that's a lot. Let me flip a switch here. There we go. LEDs in the entire thing. It's pretty nice in a rental. These things, I don't know where we're going to price these at, but they're, they're going to be pretty expensive. Full toolboxes. We got a side door if we have to enter without having to drop the ramp down. We got diamond plated floor. Big thing, Lance, I'll have his Discord link down below if you guys want to check it out. I think he's almost got 2,000 members in there, so join that if you guys aren't already in it. If you want to learn more about how these mods are made and uh, if you want to maybe pick some up for yourself. We have two more of them. They're identical, so we don't need to open those. And then we're going to put the mowers in the back of these bad boys. Full strap down and thing will be secure. But let's grab the Vermeer skid steers here. Raise up the forks. All right, we're out of here. I think that'd be pretty cool if we got a hitch on the front of it, on the pallet fork, and we could tow trailers around that. That possibly could be an investment, but we're going to load these in the back of this one. These are precious, so we got to keep them nice and clean. I will run back, grab the other one here. That one's in the back, all set to go. And we got number two here. Not literal number two. The thing is very nice. Right about there should be good. And I forgot to mention, we have toolboxes on the side of the thing as well. And look, we can still walk through just like that. Pretty sweet. All right, well, I think we're going to haul our first load back. Let's fold the gate up here and fire up the truck. All right, sweet. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty fun. Our first load with the trailer. Oh, gosh, this thing feels like we're towing nothing. That's good because then any truck that people want to come in with or our rental trucks might even be able to tow it. This Duramax is not for rental. This is my personal truck. So I'm definitely not leasing this thing out. I don't want to see how it turns out when it's returned. And at the end of every month, we'll go through all the vehicles and make sure they're all good engine-wise and paint job. Oh my gosh, someone totally ignored those cones. We got a shortcut through here. 
And look, we're basically already back. I can see the Home Depot sign already. If you guys are looking for a way to support the channel and get cool perks, check out the YouTube memberships down below. We got a $5 tier and a $10 tier, and the $10 tier gives you access to a dedicated server, and you'll be able to play with me in that server. So if you guys were interested, join the Discord for more information on how to support the channel. And we do fun stuff just like this with public mods. The membership link is uh, the fourth in the description, so check that out. Anyways, we got a job to do here at Home Depot, so let's unload the skid steers. There we go, back it off. The front of her mirror up there had a strap brake on it, so the thing's all crooked in there. Come on, tracks. All right, we got over the curb. This orange is a little bit darker than the Home Depot one, but we did the best we could to get close as possible. All right, time to find a spot where we're going to position the rental trailers. We need to find a spot where there's enough space, maybe over here in the side. Another great spot is right where we had it, but backed in. As you can see, there's the sun glaring on it just like that perfectly. Let's back it up till it touches the curb right about... Oh, pull forward a bit. All right, there we go. I think it's time to go back for round two. We got three, the stuff already over. I moved one of the Vermeers around back, so that's down in the service department. If our truck's ever dirty, we have a power washer right here. Fire this bad boy up, clean off the truck. I'm going to leave my personal truck here. I should have a friend coming to pick me up, and he's going to be shuttling me back and forth to pick up these vehicles. So I'll see you guys when we get back and pick up some more stuff. Thanks, Jim. I'll see you later. All right. Let's go ahead and walk in here. Let's see if we got anything else we got to take back. I mean, obviously, we have a lot more we have to take back. And I'm thinking we're going to start putting stuff on top of it just to limit the uh, amount of trips we have to take back and forth. So we could probably get two Kubotas on here. And that's two trailers. That's two trips for all six of these stuff. Might even be able to load them on the back of these things as well. But let's go ahead. We're going to hook up the Dodges. These are our vehicles to transport back and forth. These things are really nice. They're going to be our number one lease truck. Let's go ahead and pull this forward. We'll drop the ramps down. And uh, we'll load up two Kubotas here. And we'll be set to go. And I might want to try something. There's a good old log trick. You can strap down vehicles. I'll have to try it. But right there looks about good for this one. I don't know. It's going to be a tight squeeze for the second one. We'll probably be able to get it on. These mowers are huge. So you'll be able to knock out a front lawn in like five minutes. Maybe just like this. It'll tilt it forward. All right. We're, we're getting somewhere. All right. That's pretty certified right there, boys. Let's go ahead and take this load back. And that's going to work out pretty good. The ramps are uh, half tilted. So we got them locked in the pin. We're going to go ahead and take this load back. We got the Cummins. First time driving it. And they're brand new, so we're not going to see this thing in a condition how it is right now after people are done renting these. Oh, we got some potholes over here. There's a bunch of different shops in town. Dollar General. They're building a skyscraper over there. Applebee's. We're going through the shortcut again. It's a great little passageway just to get right on the main road. We don't have to go all the way around the streetlight, wait for a red. A lot more convenient, too. I don't have to wait. I'm very impatient, so uh, it's very nice to just go through that. Mowers are holding up well. Straps are still on. Looks like they're building something new right there. GMP Construction. They did some work for us at our Home Depot. So yeah, they did a bunch for us, which is super nice. And then we're back here again. Mowers obviously go out front. If you guys have never been to Home Depot, there's always lawn mowers and snow plows out front, all that kind of stuff. I want to try mowing with this thing. Like, I think it's a 90-inch deck, so that's huge. This is more for city commercial landscaping because uh, they get a lot done. We're going to put this one right about there. Right there, we got Kubota number two it looking good. And we got more categories of stuff. Where we're going to put everything, put the flatbeds right about here. And then the trucks are going to be closer to the one-lane pickup right here. And we got three of them, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, Jim's going to give me another ride back, and we're going to go ahead and take our third load on back. What do you say this time we take a dump trailer? Let's go ahead and grab one of those. We have three of them, and then let's get the rest of it hooked up. That way, when we come back, everything's set to go. All right, we loaded up a mower on the back, put some ramps down, drove the thing on top. I think we might be able to get something in the back of here, maybe a mower. All right, mower number two is in the back, so this setup's good. Let's go ahead and grab our final flatbed truck. And we got five trailers here, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do situation-wise. I think we're going to do some uh, thinking here and see what kind of experiment we could do. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and hook up to the dump trailer. Now this is how you save time. Now check out this cool little technique. You go ahead and throw the log in the back, strap it down, and then you're going to go ahead and go onto this trailer. And then you can strap down through the bottom, and that one goes onto the log. There we go. We got that one strapped on as well, so let's back this thing up. All right, we're all set to go. We have three trailers, and then we're just going to have to make, like, one or two more trips after this. Let's go ahead and go through the long part of the city, because this thing is oversized. But that's how you do it. It's a cool little trick. You can strap stuff down if they don't, like, really strap down. I don't think a trailer's supposed to be on top of this truck. You know, we got to test out the 3500 and see what the thing can do. See if it was worth the purchase or if we had to buy a Chevy. But it's proven pretty good. I mean, maybe we'll get some Chevy work trucks as well. But here we go. We're pulling back in. Yeah, everything's starting to come together here. Once we get everything back, it's going to look pretty cool. And other stores might be sold out of something. So that'll be nice if we have it in stock. This one's got an automatic shield on top. The cover just unfolds nice and easy. So we'll put the dump trailer right here. 
just like that very nice now we gotta back up to the dump trailer on the trailer and we'll back this one right up next to it lots of different trailers but that's what mostly people rent stuff for they do have hitches on their trucks but they don't have the equipment to haul stuff and then we do have these trucks in case they have a toyota prius or uh possibly like a honda civic or something which are great cars but they're not prone to towing 40 foot uh enclosed trailers put the second rental truck on over here and then we'll have one more after this all right we're gonna take this one back and then we'll come back for those we'll probably have another employee pick those up and bring them back right now we got two guys running around the city Picking up appliances and different stuff for the store. And we're going to need pens, paper, all that stuff to sign paperwork. There's a lot of paperwork when you do a different rental programs. So we got guys running around the city with trucks right now. We'll have them drop those off. That way we don't have to make any more trips. And I'll see you when we're back here to drop off this load. And the final two trailers have made its way on back to the Home Depot. And everything else is in place right now. And if this program goes really well, we'll have to buy more stuff. But for now, we have three of these huge enclosed trailers. And we designed them very well. And remember guys, if you enjoy this Home Depot video to hit the like button and if we can get 4,000 likes in this video I will do a part two as the rental owners at Home Depot. Thank you for watching today's video. See you guys in the next one.